Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have something for you. It is a solar panel and it's 100 watts and it's from GoFort and it's foldable and portable and I can't wait to try this thing out on multiple power stations outside today because it's super sunny and so I'm pretty excited about it. But let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more about this GoFort 100 watt monocrystalline foldable solar panel. First thing I want to talk about is the dimensions of this solar panel because I feel like it's not very big. Uh, it's only like 20 and a half inches by 20 inches and it is super thin. Um, it's got these nice uh, carrying straps. I believe they're some sort of nylon so they feel pretty strong. And while it's unfolded, uh, you pretty much double, double the size so we're looking at 40 inches altogether. But let me show you the comparison to a 50 watt foldable solar panel. All right, here is the 100 watt uh, go for it. And here is a 50 watt equivalent. It's basically the same design, but look at the, look at the size difference. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me, let me put them right together. I mean, it's only probably two inches wider on each side and four inches or five inches uh, from, from top. So the difference between 50 watts and 100 watts uh, isn't really that great. And here's the size comparison uh, while they're open. So you can see again that a 100 watt panel, um, when it comes to size, is a much better option to have. It's really not that much bigger and you're getting twice the solar output. All right, this, uh, this go for it 100 watt solar panel Okay, first of all, it is monocrystalline, so it does use the more efficient cells. Um, it does have this pocket right here in the front, and it does come with uh, some barrel plug adapters, and it comes with a 5521 cord, which you'll be connecting to your power station. Let's go and open this up and see what kind of barrel plugs we have. Okay, it comes with four adapters. Uh, first, it comes with an eight millimeter adapter. And then uh, I believe this is the 5525 adapter. And then it also has the, the 35135 adapter. And it also comes with a 6330 adapter. And we can't forget the weight, which is 5.7 pounds. The solar panel also comes with a, a small user manual. And it's basically the technical specifications, uh, the connections, uh, safety tips, and then a QR code for customer service in case that's needed. Okay, the connections that go into the solar panel, let's check them out. You can see inside the pocket, there is this little controller right here, and there is a light that lights up when the solar panel has sunlight. Uh, here is your 5521 female port. Then it has a 5 volt, 2 amp uh, USB-A port and a quick charge 3.0 port for your quicker devices. All right, well, it is about high noon, so we are gonna take this GoFort 100 watt solar panel outside and uh, go ahead and plug it into some power stations and see what we get. Okay, we are outside, and here is our setup to do some tests on this solar panel. So here is the GoFort 100 watt solar panel. Here's our little setup for our power stations. Uh, you can see that I put an umbrella up, so that way we have some shade, so we might actually be able to see the displays on the power stations. Okay, and I also brought a little uh, USB fan to see if we can plug it directly into the solar panel. And so let's get started. First, we're going to try out this Flashfish E200. Now, on the, uh, on the specifications in the back, it does say that the DC input is 15 volts by two and a half amps. And this solar panel is actually 18 volts by five and a half amps. So you really shouldn't use a 100 watt solar panel with this power station. But we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway, just to see what happens. Don't try this at home. Yeah, don't try this with your E200. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the solar panel. Huh, look at that. And it does show that it's charging. 
and we are at full sun right now. This E200 does charge with a 100 watt solar panel. But with this display, I don't see any way of showing how much wattage it's actually getting. So let's go ahead and move on to another one. Okay, next we have the All Powers. We have the All Powers A300. I believe this solar panel can handle at least 100 watts. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, and this All Powers A300 keeps keeps climbing up and it looks like we're maxing out around 75 watts so that's uh that's pretty good because i didn't test the uh i didn't test the angle of the solar panel i just kind of set it up all right next we're going to try the blue eddy eb3a and see if it'll work okay i know the screen's flickering but we'll just kind of have to deal with it and this does accept 12 to 28 volts at 8.5 amps max so but we might we're gonna need uh, an adapter for this I believe yeah because this one's not gonna fit so let's see if one of the adapters that came with the solar panel will fit in there and there we go the 8 millimeter worked just fine so let's go ahead and plug it in see what we get And you can see the tracking on the EB3A is a lot quicker than the All Powers A300. And it shows that the wattage is 71 watts. Okay, and last but not least is the actual GoFort J1000. This is the, this, this is the big one. Okay, and so this is a GoFort and our solar panel is a GoFort. So let's make sure that they work together. Now it looks like this is an eight millimeter plug as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep this on there, plug it in. All right, and it's getting an input. Oh, look at that. And you can see the go for it is actually, the go for it is actually uh, receiving the most wattage. It's at 80 right now. So it looks like using a go for it power station with a go for it solar panel is the most efficient way to go. There we go, now you can see it. It's saying at a constant 80 watts. Okay, now that we know that this uh, solar panel can power multiple power stations with and without the adapters, let's go ahead and try to uh, use the, the solar panel by itself. Uh, that means actually charging a phone and actually trying to run a fan directly from the solar panel. So first I'm gonna to try to charge up my Note 20 phone. All I gotta do is plug it into the USB uh, quick charge on the back. All right, and it actually shows that we're fast charging. So the quick charge 3.0, so the quick charge 3.0 on the back of the unit does work just fine. But do you think it can actually run this fan? Let's go ahead and try that out now. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to turn this on. And look at that. I don't know if you can see that spinning, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Oh, that's on high. Okay, let me, let me put my microphone right up to it. You can hear that wind. Yeah, it's running it just fine. Here, let me just, oh, I think that's actually, that's, that's on very high. Yeah. Okay, now we turn it off. Let's go ahead and turn it back on high. Look at that. Oh, wow. All right, Keith, Keith, go ahead and stand in front of the solar panel and see how much it affects it. I mean, it is still running this fan with no problem. I mean, Keats is covering 50% of that solar panel easily. I'll go ahead and cover some too. Look at that. That's amazing. This solar panel is strong. I mean, this fan, this fan is still running. Okay, and now, now look at this. This fan is running, and I'm, I'm right in front of the solar panel. I mean, I'm blocking. Here, Keats, come on over here. 
I mean, look at that. We, we are, we're blocking over 50% of this panel and this fan is still running with no problem. So if you have a little bit of shade on this, it will still operate just fine. That is pretty impressive. So what'd you guys think of the go for 100 watt monocrystalline foldable solar panel? Um, well, I mean, it performed exactly like I thought it should. Uh, you know, it gave out up to uh, 80 watts on a pretty sunny day. Um, again, I didn't have it exactly angled perfectly to the sun, but getting 80 out of 100 watts is pretty good for a solar panel of this type. I do like the fact that it does uh, USB charging as well. I mean, I don't know why I was so amazed that it could run that little fan, but I just thought that was really cool. Even though my son and I were putting a lot of shade on the panel, that fan just kept on running. So I think that's, that's pretty neat also. I also like the fact that this solar panel comes with uh, those four barrel adapters. And so that way I can use this panel on on all of the solar power stations uh, that I have. And also the fact that even though it's 100 watts, it's not really that much bigger than the 50 watt foldable panel that I have. Uh, so that's a huge bonus. Um, it's very easy to carry. Uh, you know, it has this, this Velcro, Velcro strap right here that keeps the panel closed. Um, unfortunately, you know, the panel is not, uh, uh, you know, really water resistant. I mean, the ports on this little controller are wide open, so I wouldn't want to use this thing out in the rain. But while, it, while it's sunny, I think this would be a perfect addition to like your camping needs. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the GoFort 100 watt monocrystalline foldable solar panel, please leave it in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.